going to show you how to fit this rear spoiler on the back of a Nissan Navara MP300. So there we go, we, we haven't painted it, we've got one painted as you'll see, but that's just to show you sort of what we're doing in this video. So it's moulded, it gives you the visibility of the brake light, I'll just show you from the side what it looks like, it sticks out a bit. So you may have to watch if you've got a roll bar that comes very close, it might be a bit tricky. Um, one point to note is we have got the roof bars on this one and it fits with roof bars. So right, let's go and have a look what we've got and what we need to do. So we've got everything laid out here. So we've had our spoiler painted black as you can see here, but the one, that, just the ABS one comes like this in a sort of yellow ABS color. And if you flip the black one over in, um, on the back it's got some mounting points, some bonded in studs that we're gonna use to, uh, to bond it onto the truck. Um, and it does need drilling. Um, which I think is probably a good precaution. So what you're going to get in the kit? You're going to get this spoiler, blow molded ABS spoiler. It's not fiberglass, it is a proper molded spoiler. Um, right, you're going to get your alcohol wipe. So this is for cleaning the area before we bond it. You're going to supply a tube of black PU adhesive to bond it on with. There's a little drilling template here that shows you where you need to drill the hole. Just two holes, one each side. There's the nuts, the fixing nuts, and there's some blanks to cover the holes in the headlining. Okay, again, these are optional. You could take your headlining out, and we'll put the link there. But as you'll see, if you watch that video I'm pointing to, taking out the headlining is quite a big job. So you might decide to just go for these little blanks. Probably worth doing. Right, what tools are you going to need? So that's what you'll get with it. These are the tools you're going to need. A cordless drill, um, a hammer, because we're going to do a little centre punch hole. We're going to try and be professional. Um, we've got a drill. What size is that one? That was eight, eight millimetre drill. And then we've got a 16 millimetre blade drill. Again, that's for fitting these little blanks in the headlining. 10 millimetre socket, some masking tape. You're going to need one of those um, mastic guns, um, obviously to squidge the sedent. So that's what we need. Right then, Ian, should we make a start? Do you want to grab the centre punch, masking tape? And let's get that first hole. I'll... Yeah, you're going to... Masking plate. And a pen will do us first. Do us first. I'll grab these bits. Right, so here's our unsuspecting victim. Right then. You're going to come over here. So, Ian's designed a little template that you can put on because there's actually a hole on the inside uh, and you could really do with lining that up. So if you look straight down, there's a little... So I'm just going to eyeball it for now quickly. The masking tape is... Hey, it's easier to, to put your pen mark on and it also stops the drill wandering as well. So this should work. Same way both sides. Right, let's flip it over. So it'll we're be gonna, both holes. We're going to offer it up right to the red of the brake light. So right on the edge of the brake light there. Okay. Sure We've got a little thing there. Give him a little centre punch. So we've got the hole marked, we've got the centre punch done. Um, going to drill the hole. Just check that again. Double check. Check twice, drill once. Yeah, right that. Um, so you want to drill perpendicular to the roof, it's a bit of a slope on it. Now we've got the headlining in, and we are going to... It's quite a way down though, because you needed the full... Yeah, the full depth of the... Drill. drill but just be careful, through. just be careful you don't, although we are going to put a bung over it, it doesn't matter too much. Right, so really you don't want to go, so let's just have a look. So I don't think we've gone through, you haven't gone, you've gone nowhere near it. 
Yeah, so there's no hole. The hole will be just about here, just to the side of that grommet there. Okay, so yeah, you're fine there. Now, it might have been worth going through with that first pilot drill all the way actually in, because that would have given us the small hole dead in the centre. Not that big one though, because you've got to put the blade drill in. Always going for it anyway. All right, let's have a look now. There we go, so that has gone through. But we've got a blade drill. It might have been easy with the smaller one to centre the blade drill. Yeah, the blade drill should centre itself up to So we've, we've oversized these slightly. We've gone out to an 8mm. Um, it's only a 6mm stud, but that'll just give you Wiggle room. a little bit of movement here because we're going to bond and it's all sealed and it's got a flange not on it. So yeah. a little bit of wiggle room isn't going to be a bad thing. Right, so we've got the two holes done. We've done the one on the other side off video. So we're now ready to clean that and get the alcohol wipe, I reckon. Yep. Okay, so we're inside the back of the car now. And you can see that the hole that Ian's got a drill there. So he's just going to put the blade drill, 16mm blade drill through. It sort of chomps it round, but that's giving you, uh, giving you what you need, yeah? Yeah. Yep, you can get your finger in the hole there. Yep. That's ready for the bung. So that's going to allow us to put the nut and the driver in and get that in. So that's all the drilling done now. Okay, so what next? So we've now got the adhesive. We've loaded the mastic into the tube. Um, oh, we've got to clean the area. Yep, so, so we're going to clean the area where we're going to bond. So we'll just wipe the alcohol wipe. We've got rid of all the swarf. What, all over this area, just to remove any polish or grease that's on there. Don't get the cover out, right on this side as well. Oh, it goes around because it does bond, it bonds over this area, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, it should wrap <laughs> over the side slightly, yeah. Right, so as that's drying it off, one thing we can do is, um, these little corner bits here, um, do rattle about. Um, so they should be on self-adhesive, which we've already removed on this one. Um, so while you've got... But it's, it's quite a common complaint that these rattle. tend to get a bit rattly and don't really stick properly. So. And it'll beat those monkeys at the old safari park when they try and rip them out, as happened on my Toyota. Do you reckon it's monkey proof this stuff? I don't quite know about that, but... Didn't you go to Longleat the other day? I did. Didn't go through the monkeys. You didn't go through the fun. I'm not that foolish. So when you're offering this back up, it clips onto these two white rivets. If you're trying to line up the back one first, and then clip the front one down, that give that a bit, of a bit of a squidge, and that'll all set. Cool. You just don't want these rattling. If you're fitting a spool, you're really, yeah, you, it on. on it's going to be underneath. Rattling afterwards because you're never going to get it. Right, where are we going to go for? Um, offer it up, I guess. The first thing we need to do. Yeah, off, yeah, it's probably a good idea. Let's check we've got the, and then we can just flip it over there. Check those two studs go through the two holes. So we're not worried about a weather seal because we've already got our, our neoprene seals around the bolt holes here. We're not too worried about that when we come to applying the the sealant. I'll let you get yours in first. Whoa, we're in. There we go. Right, so we've got a rough idea. I mean, you could go round with a, um, a pen or just put a couple of bits of tape on there um, if you're worried. But Ian's got a, you got that in. I'm going to uh, put on a spoiler, I think, as it just drops on. That's a good idea. I think I'm just going to, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to go, go yeah. the side, side of the spoiler, yeah. In fact, we could we could put a bit of the. Oh, where's my camera on? We could put a bit of the wipe on there. There you go. Make sure we're all clean. Right, let's see if we can do this two-handed with me filming as well, shall we? It's all going to go wrong. We go. We're going to have yeah, you do it. I always get complaints on my shoddy filming. Whereabouts are we going for? You reckon? Oh, let me jump down. There we go. 
Yeah. And That's you go it. for a good bead along the back there. First off. Do you reckon we need a bit in the middle? Why not? What about across the centre? Oh, I'd leave the centre. Oh, he's going for it. I ain't going to sue you if it falls off him. I just think it needs a bit just to hold yeah, it. Yeah, and flat, stop it right. It could flat flap surface. actually, yeah. We're not, it's not so much the bonding on because the, the thing should have that, it's to stop it rattling. We've got a whole tube here. Yeah. Well, now it's out. Of, the great thing about putting on the spoilers, you know where it's going. The dodgy thing is when you go to put it on the roof without squidging it all over the roof. Yeah, we've got to be quite a way away. And the, the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Located down. down. So no. Not gonna, you have got a good view. It's not going to walk around. No, no, no. Do you want me to steady this end? I'll steady this end a bit for you. Down a bit more. I'm in there. Right, so that's all that on. Now what we've got to do is put the bolts on the inside and put the caps in the headlining. So we'll get the two flange nuts and we'll come on the inside. This is the experiment to us. Yeah. Got to try and find so you've got a long reach socket. The flange nuts stop it dropping down the socket. You go through there. You don't want to cross thread that. So we've got it, got it in. Sorry, the lighting's not very good in here. There you go. We've got it in. It's a bit. You can see it's, it's actually fairly straight that you've got to get. And then bring your socket out. We've got your socket out, and then you get the little plastic bungs. And that'll go in there, and that covers the hole in your headline. Now you could take your whole headlining down if you're offended by that bung. Um, but it'll save you an hour of work at least. Um, and you, there we go. Right, so you've got to do the same on the other one. But I think that's done now for the video. I think you guys can work that out. Uh, we'll get Ben to take some nice pictures for the website. But that's the uh, Nissan Navara MP300 spoiler fitted.